Welcome back once again to Trigonometry with me, Reno. Let us think back to the lessons we have done so far. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to calculate the size of an angle using trigonometry if you are given the length of two sides and determine the size of the third angle using the fact that angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. It is important to know where the maths fits into our everyday lives. So, let's look at a real example. While driving from Durban to Johannesburg with her boyfriend Tato, Busi saw a road sign just as they were approaching Van Rienen's Pass that she found really interesting. The road sign indicated that for every 15 kilometers traveled horizontally, they were moving one kilometer vertically. Busi decided that she wanted to work out how many kilometers they would travel from the sign to the top of the mountain along that road. On closer inspection, she noticed that the dimensions given formed a right angle triangle, which meant that she would be able to use trigonometry to solve the problem. Let's put this information onto a right angled triangle. The road sign indicated that for every 15 kilometers traveled horizontally, you are moving one kilometer vertically. This means that we can fill in 15 kilometers on the horizontal and one kilometer on the vertical. The road is on the diagonal BA. Wow, it looks like the road they are driving up is very steep. Can you remember how to work out the length of a side of a triangle if you have the lengths of the other two sides already? That's right. We used the theorem of Pythagoras to work out the length of a third side of a right angled triangle. So that we are all sure, let's quickly go over it again. The theorem of Pythagoras states that the square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the other two sides. Now, let's put the theorem into use in the question. In triangle ABC, we know that BC is 15 kilometers and that AC is 1 kilometer. We want to calculate the length of the diagonal AB, which is also the hypotenuse. And we know from Pythagoras' theorem that the length of the hypotenuse squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the lengths of the other two sides, which means BC squared plus AC squared. Now let's fill in the values that we know. So AB squared will be equal to BC, which is 15 kilometers squared, plus AC, which is 1 kilometer squared. So AB squared is equal to 15 squared is 225, plus 1 squared is 1. So we get AB squared is equal to 200 and 26. But we're not quite finished yet. We want AB alone, not AB squared. So that means we have to square root both sides. So square root the left hand side and the right hand side. Therefore AB is equal to 15,03 kilometers. 
So my hypotenuse, the diagonal BA, is equal to 15,03 kilometers. So they will be traveling 15,03 kilometers. It's quite amazing to think that when Tato and Busi have traveled 15,03 kilometers, they have traveled one kilometer in height. That is 1,000 meters. It definitely seems like a steep road. But now, how steep is this road actually? In order to see how steep the road actually is, we would have to work out the angle of inclination. That is the angle from the ground moving upwards. Let's look at what we already know about this triangle. We have the length of three sides, but we only know the size of one of the three angles. We want to work out the size of angle B, or theta. Now we know that AC is opposite theta, and we know that BC is adjacent to theta, and of course we know the diagonal is the hypotenuse. We can use our trig ratios to find an equation to work with. Do you remember what they are? That's right, it's so ka toa. Let us use AC the opposite side and BC the adjacent side. We therefore have something theta is equal to AC divided by BC. Which ratio is opposite divided by adjacent? Yes, tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. So we have tan theta is equal to AC divided by BC. We can now fill in the values that we know. Tan theta is equal to AC, which is 1 kilometer, divided by 15 kilometers, which is the length of BC. We cannot press tan of the angle as we do not know the size of the angle. Remember that to find an angle, we use the second function button on our calculators. Right, let's get stuck in and do it. This means that Tato and Busi are driving the 15,03 kilometers at an angle of 3,8 degrees. This is a very small angle. The road is actually not that steep after all. Did this surprise you? Did you also wonder why I chose to use the tan ratio? Could I have used the cos or the sine ratio to help me find the size of the angle? Let us look at the diagram again. We have the following information. AC is opposite B, BC is adjacent to B, and AB is the hypotenuse. Let us use AC and AB this time. So I get something theta is equal to AC divided by AB. Now which ratio is opposite divided by hypotenuse? That's right, sine. So sine theta is equal to AC divided by AB. We now know that sine theta is equal to AC divided by AB. We know the values of AB and AC. 
AC is 1 and AB is 15,03. Let's take this equation and use a calculator to solve for theta. Now we know the size of two angles in triangle ABC. So how can we work out the size of angle A? Well, we know that angle B, which is theta, is equal to 3,8 degrees. And we know that angle C, which is the right angle, is equal to 90 degrees. And we can use the fact that the three angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees to calculate A. So angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees, being the three angles of the triangle adding up to 180 degrees. We want to calculate A alone. So we can say that A is equal to 180 degrees, and we will subtract angle B and angle C from 180 degrees. So we will say 180 degrees minus angle B minus angle C. Let us put in our values. So angle A is equal to 180 degrees minus 3,8 degrees minus 90 degrees. And then A is equal to 86,2 degrees. In this lesson, we revised the theorem of Pythagoras. We then worked out the size of an angle using two sides that we know. We used the second function key on our calculators as we were finding the size of an angle. We discovered that we could use any of the trig ratios, but had to be careful which side to put into the numerator. Once we knew the value of two of the angles, we then used the fact that angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees to find out the size of the third angle in the triangle. That's it for today's lesson. But please don't shove your calculators under your beds until the next lesson. Practice using your calculators to help you with calculations of angles and they will become your best friends in maths. Till next time, bye-bye.